So um, the first thing, ladies and gentlemen, we want to do is y equals x squared minus 5x plus 10. Now we're going to be able to solve this. Now what we learned in this class so far, which will have our test, which will be next class period regarding solving factoring by GCF, factoring a trinomial um, when a equals 1, factoring trinomial when a does not equal 1, and as well as including the quadratic formula, which we're going to about to go over today. Now if I was going to um, typically go ahead and solve this by factoring, you know, I'd create your nice little diamond here, and I'd say you're my a times c and my b. And if you guys remember, we'd multiply. What two numbers multiply to give you 10, but then add to give you negative 5? Well, when we start listing our factors of 10, I do 10 times 1, 5 times 2, and it kind of comes up to me, crap, there is not any numbers in the real number system that multiply to give you 10, but add to give you negative 5. Sheldon, this would include you. So therefore, it's not factorable. I can't factor this using the methods that we have used. So we can go through another method, the way to find the solutions, though, is to be able to use the quadratic formula. Use the quadratic formula um, to be able to solve the values for x. So what we're going to do for that is first couple steps. First step is we need to identify a, b, and c. And when you guys are doing your work, I want you to do it just like I'm doing right up here. I want you to say a equals this, b equals that, and c equals this. Okay, so you're going to write out a, b, and c, and then you're going to plug in what those values are: one, negative five, and ten. Okay. Now, once you go ahead and label this, the next thing, this, that's step number one. Now, step number two is to identify the discriminant. Now, I'm not going to get into much detail on this video for the discriminant. Mr. Mangalogan? Yes. Yes. Can you please send Jennifer Casper to the main office to check out? Okay. Uh, Jennifer, the homework is on the thing. Thank you. Yep, thank you. Discriminant is going to be b squared minus 4 times a times c. So basically, all I'd like you guys to do is just practice finding, determining what the value is of the discriminant. I'm going to explain what exactly on the discriminant a little bit more. Um, not in this video, though, but I will explain it. So I'll explain it in a little bit more detail to you next time. But um, for right now, I don't, I, we haven't gone into it, and I, and I will go over it. We're going to get to that. We're, not, we're going to get to that. Right now, I just want you to identify the discriminant, which is negative 5 squared minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is 10. So does everybody see what I did? I just took the values for a, b, and c. It's out of the printer, uh, in the printer box. It's, um, so I just took the values of a, b, and c, and I plugged them into this little formula. Now, I basically remember negative, negative 5 squared is positive 25. And then negative 4 times 1 times 10 is going to be a negative 40. Correct? So yeah. Everybody understand? Agree with me? Then I just do 25 minus 40, and I get negative 15. All right. Now again, as I mentioned when we go over this, whenever you have a negative, uh, I just want you guys to write in no real roots. Um, you're not going to have real roots. You're going to have complex roots um, for this example. But I don't, I'm not going to get that in depth with all of this. We're basically just going to go over what you guys need to remember from your algebra 2. All right, Brittany? Then, the, then you would have gone over this, which would have been nice. Yeah, we've already covered this in algebra 2. So then, step number 3 Step number three is applying the quadratic formula, which is actually uh, the formula that we're going to be using. Um, so to use the quadratic formula, remember, you guys, at the end, when we were solving these, we got x equals, right? When we factor at the end, x equals you know, our values. So the quadratic formula is the solutions for x, and the formula goes opposite of b plus or minus b squared minus 4 times a times c all over 2a. Now, a couple things that I want you guys to understand about this quadratic formula is the discriminant is what is under the square root. So we already solved part of this problem when we found out what the discriminant was. Okay? So rather than just taking the whole, um, rather than just taking the whole formula and just plugging in numbers, we went ahead and determined the discriminant. And I'll explain why we're going to do that um, again, as I mentioned in another uh, another video. So. 
we now have our discriminant. So now to figure out the values, all I'm simply going to do is plug in the values for a, b, and c. So I have x equals opposite of b. Well, b is negative 5, so now it's 5 plus or minus the square root of negative 15. I already found that value. Divided by 2 times a, which is 2 times 1. So does everybody see what I did there? Yes, no, maybe so? OK. Now, another thing um, to kind of get with you guys is we talked about there's no real roots, but we do have complex roots. And the way I'm going to just kind of going to shorthand this because we talk about it much more in Algebra 2. Um, but if you guys want to be able to rewrite this number, we rewrite this as, our, um, as a complex root, Sheldon, then what we're going to do is we're going to take the square root of negative 15. And what I'd like to do is rewrite that as 5 plus or minus the square root of 15 i. So what we're doing is we're basically removing this negative, taking the square root of a negative number, and we are rewriting that as a number i, Okay, where i represents uh, the square root of a negative number. Then we still have this divided by 2. And then the last thing we need to do, ladies and gentlemen, is separate that. We need to divide the 2 into both of these. So my final answer is 5 divided by 2 plus or minus the square root of 15 divided by 2 i. And that is going to be your final, final answer. All right. 